All right, this is a toy haul from Savers, and I got this in December. And then these were in there, and I know I did not get those from Savers. These were actually from an estate sale, and I don't know why I had it in the Savers bag. But these are bottles of shampoo from 1981, Star Wars. They're pretty cool. I paid a buck each at an estate sale. Um, but they're really not going that high on eBay. I looked, they go between five and ten dollars. Um, and they're shampooing them, so they're a little bit heavy. And oh my god, the Ewok is adorable. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna list them as a group, individual. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of like, this is weird, but I'm like, it's 37 year old shampoo. I wonder what happens when you wash your hair with 37 year old shampoo. So I'm like, does shampoo stand the test of time? They're completely full. So, I don't know. Comment down below, what would you do? Would you sell these on eBay or would you wash your hair with them? I might do a video of washing my hair with this. Would that be weird? I'm just curious. What does 37-year-old shampoo look like? And do collectors actually want the shampoo in the bottle or do they want the empty containers? I just don't know. I gotta do more research. But I think I'm definitely keeping the Ewok for myself and I'm definitely keeping Jabba the Hutt for myself. But I'll probably end up selling the rest. Isn't, isn't that adorable? I love Jabba the Hutt. So yeah, they were a buck each. And it, I, I, like I said, I looked them up on eBay and they're not really going for that much. You would think Star Wars from 1981 would, but I don't know. I guess collectors really don't want shampoo bottles. Anyway, this is my bag from Savers. And just looking at the top, I see I got a bunch of Barbie stuff. Let's, let's pull this out. This is a My Little Pony. Uh, My Little Ponies, like the older ones from the 80s, go for a lot more than these. This is probably like worth 3 or $4. So um, I usually just um, hoard the My Little Ponies and then sell them in like a, grab, like a big grab bag for like 50 bucks or whatever. So sometimes I sell them individually, but most of, the, most of the time I'll just put them in a big bag and sell the bag of My Little Ponies. Let me see another My Little Pony. Um, but you gotta research each one before you decide to sell them in a lot because some of them actually are more rare and worth more money. So you definitely have to research each one. <clears throat> I don't I don't think these are anything special. So those will go in a grab bag. This one I know I bought for me. This is Blossom. And this is weird. I gotta do more research because this looks like the this is the original design, but this isn't from the 80s. If you look at the bottom of the feet, it is stamped 2007. So I know this year Target remade these um, and they are stamped 2018, but this is 2007. I wasn't aware that they remade them in the early 2000s, so I got to do a little more research. But either way, I'm keeping this one because Blossom was the, my favorite from childhood. So this one is mine to keep. And then, let's see. And this is what? Baby Strawberry Shortcake? I collect Strawberry Shortcake stuff, so this is mine and I'm, this dress the skirt is probably not her original skirt that looks like a fairy skirt from the fairy series herself the elf I don't know anyway but this is like baby strawberry shortcake I don't know her name I have to look that up I don't know why these stuff aren't in bags I might have thrown some other junk in with the savers bag all right so these are bags of Barbie clothes and I don't know I gotta open them up to see so they say $2.99, but I know I didn't pay $2.99. I usually have like a 30, 40% off coupon for savers. Um, so, and with Barbies, when you sell Barbie, you have to do research because sometimes like you just want to sell a grab bag and then sometimes like one outfit can be worth 20 bucks. It just depends on the rarity of the outfit. So, you know, it's Barbies aren't technically easy to sell because you have to do a lot of research, but I don't mind. Um, and I probably bought these because I am looking for some for my personal collection. Um, I actually, you know what? This I got at an estate sale. It's not in a bag. I think I got it that day. So it's not a really good condition, but I think it was like in a box of junk. So, oh, this one. I'm definitely keeping this for myself because I collect Monster High stuff. So that goes in my pile. And then this is a, a Monster High Drac Draculaura. So these actually, I gotta do some research. Monster High they changed their dolls to look less scary, which they don't look scary in the first place, so I don't know why they did that. And their new dolls are just not as popular as the original. So if this is the original and she has her clothes, this might be worth like 20 bucks. So I'll have to research that. 
which again, I paid less than a dollar, so I'll take twenty dollars. And then there's another grab bag of stuff. So why did I buy this grab bag? Oh, it has my little pony stuff in it. That's why I bought that. You never know what's in grab bags. I love grab bags. All right, so of course I just bought a whole bunch of grab bags. So this is more Barbie clothes. So I will probably just like pull them out to make sure it's none of them that the dresses that I'm looking for, and then I'll just sell them for like a big bag for like 20 bucks. So this is one of the Barbies that I had as a kid that I'm looking for. This is like Crystal Barbie, so it's missing some of her outfit. And so that's what I'm always on the lookout for like Crystal Barbie, Peaches and Cream, um, I Love You Barbie. Those are just Barbies that I remember from the 80s that I want for my personal collection. So this one, um, I have to double check to see. I already have it, but I'm looking for like a better condition one. So like if this is better than the one I have, then I'll switch them out. You see what I'm saying? But, um, and of course, my ultimate goal is to find one in the original box without paying an arm and a leg for it. All right, and then here's another Barbie. I don't know why. It's not in a bag, so I'm assuming this was just in a grab bag box of junk. Here's a Snow White. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this to resell because Disney stuff does really well and the dress was in really good condition. Let's see. And then just more bags of, like, Barbie clothes. I don't know why I bought all these. I must have had a coupon. Oh, and this is Barbie accessories. Yeah, I, that's good. That's good. Accessories can do pretty good. Again, like, unless it's something special, I will just do, like, a grab bag of accessories on eBay. And then, that's my last grab bag. So, I'm not going to sort these on camera and bore you. But, if I find any really good ones, oh, here, see, right there, that's the crystal dress that goes on this. So, she's missing the shawl, the wraparound. So, this actually looks like this is the wraparound That's what I bought. It. That's part of her dress that is missing. And that's the other thing. Like, if you find a piece of clothing for one of the popular Barbies, you can sell just the piece of clothing for itself by itself for like, I don't know, six to ten dollars because people are always looking for pieces that they're missing on their favorite doll. So it's, it takes a little research if you want to get into Barbies, but I don't mind it. And then the last thing in this bag is a spelling box. This is for me personally. I have to clean it up. The reason I bought this is my grandma had one just like this, but hers was like twice the size. So it has a tray and everything. Um, I do a little sewing, not tons. So I will definitely scrub this down and keep this for myself because it looks just like the one that my grandma had. So that's just childhood memories for me. And so that's why I will keep it. It looks pretty dirty, but um, I can clean it up. It just needs a good scrubbing. I will not soak it because of the metal hinges. I will just wipe it down really good with Lysol wipes. And like I've said before, Lysol wipes are the best. I love them. So anyway, not too many amazing things in this. Definitely got like four things for myself. And then I just don't know what to do about these Star Wars shampoo bottles. I don't know. So anyway, I got some sorting to do and I'm gonna make me some green bags and get this stuff green bags. Grab bags. I'm gonna make myself some grab bags and get this stuff listed on eBay. Thanks for watching, and if you like these types of videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Um, I do do, I post arcade videos in the morning, and I post um, eBay videos at night. Thanks for watching.